Hey guys, it's Gal here. I want to share with you something that's been on my mind lately, and that is taking care of yourself. It's really, really a critical thing for us to learn as healthcare professionals, but also as business owners. The environment right now with the NDIS and some of the planning decisions around uh, AAC and assistive technology that we're seeing and some of the changes that are going on are incredibly frustrating uh, and they're certainly not what I would consider best practice nor in the best interest of the client or even in the best interest of the scheme um, because there's a lot of money being spent on reports and assessments that aren't being taken any further. That's, you know, what's really frustrating me at the moment. But it reminds me that as healthcare professionals, we also need to learn how to take care of ourselves so that we can weather these really challenging times. Even more critically is as business owners, taking care of yourself is an essential tool. Because as business owners, there is no five o'clock go home, switch off from work. If you're a small business owner, at five o'clock, if you go home, when you go home, you're still thinking about business. You're still worrying about your client and you're still thinking about all of the things that you have to do in your business because if you're like me, your office is here in your home anyway. The division is really, really, really challenging. As health professionals, we are not taught how to take care of ourselves. In fact, we are taught not to listen to ourselves, not to take care of ourselves, to ignore our own needs and to do everything we can to ensure that the client, the business, the department, the government gets as much out of us as possible. As healthcare professionals, we are you're probably already a high achiever when you came to your degree to get into a health health profession, you generally need to have a really, really good score or really great life experience to show that you can put up with the demands of a challenging, grueling degree. And then as a, as a student, we go on placements and, you know, so many placements mean that you end up working really long hours. You might still be trying to hold down a regular job while working full-time on a placement um, while maintaining your student student job so you can keep on paying the rent you might um, and then on top of that you've got all the additional pressures of the placement you've got uh, to you're know, staying up late to complete your file notes and do your session plans and learn all the things that you need to do which means there is no time for yourself and then we go into work as health professionals, as new grads, trying to do all of the things, often with little support in really busy departments and trying to fit all of the things in that an experienced professional would be able to do without the knowledge or the skills to be able to do that. We get taught, and in particular if we work in medical settings, in hospitals, that Taking your lunch break is non-essential if you have a client that needs you. Going home on time is non-essential. We learn how not to take care of ourselves. And this is really damaging as a profession. Now, as an employee, you at least get to go home and switch off. But when you're in business and it's on 24-7 all the time, then this is just something you just don't get to do unless you're very deliberate about how you organize yourself and how you organize uh, your own needs so that you can take care of yourself. When I'm saying taking care of yourself, I am not talking about having the odd massage, you know, trying to eat well, uh, getting a manicure or pedicure every now and then. I am talking about learning how to truly listen to what your body needs and what your mind needs so that you can be at your best and know what to do when you're not at your best to bring yourself back up so that you're not having big dips and plunging into feeling like you're overwhelmed and can't do it all. That's something I want to talk about next time too, overwhelm. 
Um, so I just want to encourage you on this video to notice what it is you need right now, how you're feeling, if you're feeling overwhelmed, what is it that you need to take care of yourself in the now. Ta do you need some time off? Could you take a couple of hours off now or a little bit later? Can you schedule that for today or tomorrow? Do you need some time out? Do you just need some more sleep? Or do you need to prioritise taking care of your body, getting some exercise, eating well, drinking enough water, things that I struggle with? <laughs> um, but, you know, what is it that you need to feel whole and be able to bring your best self to work so that you can do your best work serving your clients? Leave me a comment down below. I really love to hear the things that really fill up your well, that make you feel like you have the resources to be able to serve and do the work that you do, the really important work, so that uh, you're feeling just filled up and connected. It could be chatting with friends, um, having a really good debrief with a, with a fellow clinician. It could be, oh, there's so many things. But I want to hear about what works for you. And perhaps hearing from other people, uh, you might learn some new things or things that you might be able to try out to see how they work for you. Looking forward to hearing from you and learning from you.